Hey, uh, this is Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com. In this screencast, I'm going to talk about uh, the header rows. It has three uh, divs by default, the left, center, and right. But uh, one problem when you want to style these things is that they are uh, disabled in the editor. That means we cannot really select them. Let me show, show this to you and uh, the way that we can work with this. So I've just created a test page. I'm editing it with Oxygen. I'm uh, starting with a blank uh, template. That means I'm not inheriting from, uh, say, a main template that has a header or footer. Just, just so that I can show you uh, from scratch the header builder. Okay, so I'm going to go and add a header builder element. And you can see it has the left, center, and right uh, sections over here. Row left, row center, and row right. So let me add a, um, not text. I just wanted to actually add a text element. And I'll call this, uh, say, header left. OK. and. Let's add a menu and uh, try to get this thing inside the center. So I'm going to hold it and try dragging it to the right. I don't think it has moved. Oh, it did. OK, cool. So next, I'm going to add a text element. And I'm going to say, call this header right one. OK, so let me try moving it into the right side. I think it did move. Cool. So I'm going to duplicate this uh, text element, okay, and call this header right two, okay. Now save this, and let's view this on the front end. So as you can see, um, let me bring up the Chrome inspector to take a look at this. We have the oxy header container div inside that is the left, center, and right. Now this the two elements that we have placed inside this right div they appear next to each other let's say i want to have this thing appear one below the other um, normally if it was some div that you have added you could just select the parent and you know you can uh, just click on the button that says arrange the child elements vertically but since these are not selectable one way we can get around this is by adding a CSS uh, adding a CSS selector manually so the right div you can see has a class of oxy header right so I'm gonna call uh, copy that and go to selectors and I'm just gonna add a new folder by name by my name so I know that these are the ones that I have created and I'm gonna add a selector and I'm going to put a dot because it's a class and then oxy header right. This is for the right div in the header. If you want to target the left, you would change right to left. And if you want to target the middle one, you would change this to center. OK, I'm going to press OK. So now I can go to advanced layout and notice how you don't see the controls uh, related to flex. So even though it is flex, you need to actually click on this button to set it to flex to see the controls. So here, uh, what I want to do is to show these things one below the other. So I'll just set the flex direction to column. Okay, so you can see it instantly take effect. Save it, come here, reload. Done, boom. So that's how you, um, make CSS changes to the left, center, and right divs um, using the selector feature in Oxygen. Now, sometimes you will have more than one header row, okay? So the CSS that you add, uh, like the way I shown now, I've shown now, it will basically affect um, these divs in both the rows. If you want to individually uh, apply the CSS, then you would have to manually add the CSS. Okay, that's uh, not something that I would like to cover in this video. That's it for now. Bye.